International Flower and Garden Festival 2022 monorail. Um, we have been kind of off the grid, and if you're returning, yeah, if you can keep it up with us, you're probably wondering, where's the second half of your trip from last August? We had audio issues, so there is footage, it just sounds kind of bad, so it's kind of in the archives right now, but it might be out eventually, but don't take my word for it, because I like to procrastinate. Anyway, we're going to get ourselves moving around the world and check out the booths. We don't eat a lot of crazy stuff, so I don't know how much we're going to get. So, but we're definitely getting some stuff. We have to find a book so we can look through these menus and then we'll uh, get going. Join us. Okay, the adventure begins. We usually go the other way. We usually walk towards Mexico first. Today we are going towards Canada first. So, I told you we were picky, so we're not doing too hot. We managed to walk all the way to Italy. So we went from Canada to Italy and just kind of wasn't, there was like one thing I was like, eh, but, what, oh well. beef tips? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I know it's about trying stuff and blah, 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 but we don't really try stuff. We just, we get what we like. Um, let me show you what we got. So from the Italy booth, we have the arancini, which has um, beef inside of it and um, a, sweet Italian sausage ravioli. And this is a six ounce Peroni. I never knew the um, measurements of these cups. I guess that's six ounces. So that's half a beer, I guess. Um, All together, $33. So 14, 13, and six. Oh well. Try the arancini. I really like it, a lot. <laughs> and she doesn't need a lot of beef. It's like subtle, it's, it's in there. It's more of a texture than a taste. It almost tastes like a fried meatball. I got a little bit more beef that time. It's really good, I actually really like that a lot. It's ravioli time. What are these green things on it? Uh, peas and that- Those are peas. Cucumber? It's either cucumber or zucchini. Just said cream sauce. Right. There's a sweet Italian. Like this is be really messy. There's Italian sausage in it. It's pretty good. I actually like those better. So Arancini wins over ravioli. Yeah, but it's still good though. Oh crap! The sausage in it that is really good. I think you'll like it. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, but the sausage is good though. I like the sausage. The sauce is, the sauce needs to be better. It tastes like Olive Garden. Yeah. Cheap. I thought the sausage had a nice flavor to it though. The sausage is good, it comes later. So which one do you like better? Arancini, but it's too small. They yeah. Four, four bits. Yeah. But they were really, really good though. I really enjoyed those a lot. If you get a nice amount of tomatoes. You, know. you like the tomatoes? Yeah. Neat. Can you get the chicken skewer? Okay, our second booth is China. I got a spicy chicken skewer. Not really sure what's all involved with that. There's a sauce on there though. And we got cheesy crab wontons, which I guess is gonna be like crab rangoon. Let's see. How was it? Is it spicy? I might try it then, if it's not too spicy. It tastes like teriyaki, but it's not. It might be this side that I'm tasting. It's got like that sweet Asian infusion. Okay. Sesame seeds. I have no idea what the sauce is. The sauce might be spicy. I'm gonna try it just to see if I like it or not. Pretty good. It's not too spicy, I don't think. Is it cheesy? I didn't really get much in that first bite. Perfect. So it's the stuff down there doesn't have much to it. That looks like the bite. There's some stuff. That's crab. Good? Really good. Crabby? Mm -hmm. Crabby patties.
What do you think? It's like straight up. It says cheesy crab wonton. It's mm -hmm. like straight up cream cheese. There's definitely crab. You can taste a lot of the crab though. Yeah. Which I like because a lot of like of of those that's basically just cream cheese and you can't taste any crab at all. And those those you can definitely taste the crab in it. And I was expecting like cheese. It tastes like bagel. Like yeah. Bagel cream cheese. So good. Delicious. So that concludes our food for the boots, I think. We saw them all. Yeah. But, oh well, different tastes for different folks, but we are gonna go into Club Cool, because we haven't done that since we reopened and Thursday. Maybe we can look at Creations and show you guys some, if there's any new merch we happen to see, maybe we can show you guys some stuff in there. Might as well, it's only one o'clock, so we might as well find something to do. I think you can get a slushie in Club Cool. They, yeah. used, they used to do that in the old one. I really want a slushie. <laughs> Welcome to Club Cool. If you haven't been, there's a variety of sodas you can try presented by Coca-Cola for free. See, everybody gets their own little fountain machine and you choose what you want. And they do have slushies. Slushies in the back. Here's some flavors. Which one are you gonna get? I'm just gonna go down the line. I want that Sprite one. And I'm not getting Beverly. Okay. Get Raspberry. Doba. It's really good. I want this Sprite from Russia. Refreshing. Cucumber. Sticky. Refreshing. Yeah. So I have a new challenge for you. This one literally tastes like barbecue sauce. Like lit literally barbecue sauce. This one, everybody already knows about. So we're gonna do a little of that. Ew. So if you haven't been to uh, Creations since it opened, I almost said Connections. Connections will be the new quick service. But anyway, oh, we still got some of the 50th hand soaps. Looks like, what is this? What is this? I don't know. I guess like a, I could put pictures in there, I guess. Oh, the black and gold. So I have some of these back in stock. The ears. This cup looks new. Starbucks. Starbs. This is $29.99. The cup, I believe, is $50. Yeah, $49.99. Fashionista. How much for the Bork? 200? 300. 318 dollars. I feel like it looks like cheesy. It looks like, I don't like the way it looks. It yeah. looks very up. <laughs> Does not look like a Dooney, but whatever. Yeah, tons of them. Obviously no one Not selling too good. Check the outlet soon. Ooh, look what I have. Coach. Coach collection. How much is the coach? A lot. $295 or something like that. Or no, three something. No, four twenty-five. Four hundred and twenty-five. So cute. Hmm. I really love the backpack too. Need to get into the uh the purse and backpack business. $4.50. Four fifty? Yep. Not bad. Let's get two. So while we're standing on this this line right here, it's basically all the designer stuff I'm thinking. Because it's all like purses, high end coach. And there's some watches back there too. Women and men's. Horsey, stuff. Horse bag. Not not really. 
don't know about that one. I really like this print. Cool. That's like nice. Vintage. Old school. Isn't that cool? Yep. Those they are uh, like the classic shorts. They have like all like different styles. Cats. That's my, um, that's what my magic band is, those cats. Found some new merch. So cute. So you got Aristocats and the matching bottoms. <laughs> Those are adorable. <laughs> These are new too, I think. These are new too. The tank top is, wow, $36.99. And it's your uh, typical Disney. I think this goes with the purple ones. Possibly. Um, Aristocat shorts, $36.99 for both. Huh. That's cool, they have like regular plain Mickey ears. So many of them always have the bow. So for guys, if you want some ears. Bit more masculine. Yeah. And I look, kind of his little signature on the side. It's really cute. We got everybody's favorite orange bird. Yes, you go orange bird. You made it. You're on a spirit jersey. Good for you, dude. Uh, no price. I'm going to say 70, 80, like every, any other spirit jerseys are. Why do they do that? So we were over in this little area, I'm gonna turn here. There's like festival stuff over there, not really interested in. Let's check out fitting rooms. I wonder if the fitting rooms are back open. There's pins over there, flushes, play and kids and blah, blah, blah. Denim. These are definitely new. That's nice. And then look. Pocahontas. Tiana ears are new too. Those are nice. Those are different. Yeah, they're very cute. Ooh, huh. look how it feels up there. How much for the denim? $119.99. This one's like purple. Oh, they're cute. Plain on the front and your designs on the back. Interesting. We got some 50th stuff over there if you're interested in the 50th. Ooh. Sweet and feisty. Nice. If I wear the denim jacket, I can be denim, denim, which is a big no. Look at Bruni. <laughs> That's cute. I like the cat one. Remember, it says, and it's probably in this thing right here. <laughs> He's nice. What's his name? I forgot. Look at this one. Just it. And then there's that cat one. I forgot what it says though, but. Like scared or something. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of 50th. Oh, look. oh my god. If anybody collects 18 wheelers. Oh my gosh, I love this. I've never seen these. Those are so cute and they're actually really cheap compared to like, I would have never thought that they would have been $34. Interesting. Those are so cute. I want them. So the 50th stuff is still going. It's not as um, dominant as it was in like all the stores, but. Um, so which team are you guys on? Do you collect Funko? If you do, can we all admit that this is a reproduction of the Sleeping Beauty Castle and not Cinderella? I only want it for the golden Mickey, but this castle, wrong castle. We made our way to the land pavilion for a little living with the land. Yes, let's go agriculture, farming, let's do this. 25 minutes. Probably a frickery number for you on my camera. All right, here we go. Where scientists from Africa and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce local harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. 
Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. Destruction of 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Sorry. I haven't been on Soren in a while. That's going to do it for today. Um, so we didn't get a whole lot of food. But the good news is we're planning our next vacation. Yep. So that's going to be in August. Not sure what's going to happen between now and then. But um, food and wine festival starts in July. Yes. So it'll run through August, I'm sure, because it lasts a couple months. So. But in August, it's going to be deathly hot, and Epcot has, like, no shade, so if we do come, it probably will not be for long. Right. But we um, are more successful at food and wine than flower and garden. That's true. We did stop on the way out at Joffrey's and got this really cute 50th anniversary drink. I forgot all what all is in it, but it's really good. It's, like, a berry-flavored. It has, like, whipped cream and stuff, and I got a cookie. Yummy. <laughs> I got a coffee, but I already drank it. So, we are off. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to follow along and see our future stuff and like this video if you enjoyed it. Bye!